everybody welcome to this thing today is tuesday and i wanted to try something new today so we are going to be trying one of jay lee's paintings she slash he i don't know <laughs> is on youtube they do daily video uploads and they're pretty simple so today we're gonna follow along see if i can actually achieve one of these paintings i've been trying to teach myself how to paint so we're gonna see if it is possible to follow along with exactly what they do in their video and <laughs> see if i can replicate this painting so this is the painting that we are going to be trying to make don't know how mine's gonna look but let's get to it so something i've always loved about jay lee painting is that they always use random objects so a lot of times they'll use tin foil which i have mine right here and cotton swab slash q-tips i prefer the term q-tips but whatever so i have a ton over her and we're also using a wide tooth comb in this video this is my comb so i'm hoping we can just clean it up afterwards but oh well and yeah well you could use a palette knife to make all these things work like we're just using fun things like tinfoil. So I'm going to do exactly what they do. And I'm going to try and follow along. I'm not trying too hard to make sure that I have the exact same colors as they, like exact same brand and everything. But I do have my own little painting stuff. So we're going to match as good as possible. These are our shades. And we're going to be working with those. I have my palette right here. And then behind me, I have, so this is kind of what I have for my brushes. There's a spot for water in there, and then the brushes can go up there. So I have all of my brushes set out and ready. Yeah, if you want that cute little tool thing, it's at Hobby Lobby. It's like five bucks or something. Anyways, so let's get to it. The other thing that I love about Jaylee painting is that they always start their painting off with like these dot patterns. And so I'm going to totally try and replicate that oh my gosh and with these paintings you have to go kind of fast because if you want the texture that they have then you have to like do it in a timely matter and that is a struggle for me because it's really kind of nice to slow down brush next that's what i have this is the fine touch brush eight. <laughs> extra heavy duty which I feel like might have been wrong but I can't rush now because this really is drying fast and covered in paint. Why I don't have an artist apron is beyond me. Oh, he held up two different colors. I am two of the 10 minutes through and this has taken me 30 minutes and it took him 10. We're not doing too good, you guys. He holds up a black and a brown again. So I'm gonna... Looks like he dipped the very edge of his brush into this brown and then the other two thirds of his brush into the black. He kind of just holds up the two colors and then shows you the paintbrush. They're both black and brown though, so it's 
hard to tell, but we're just gonna, good job, we're doing good. I'm gonna switch over to use a bigger brush. I'm gonna use this guy again, the fine touch. This is the 12, okay. So, oh, is there supposed to be yellow? No, I think that's an extra. Okay, so then we're just going to make sure our brush is nice and coated with these colors. <laughs> got some yellow but he didn't tell us that but I think he did look kind of pretty he started right there in the center huh interesting oh mine's curved that's not helpful we'll use this one though it would appear that all my paint dried again what we'll do is we'll take my brush and we'll just swirl it ourselves now we'll see if this will kind of let us mess with it just a little bit now that we've kind of swirled it a bit okay we're done with that idea we're gonna have to figure out a way to make ours look better later because that did not work. I told you, you have to work fast with these. I even watched this video twice before this to try and be ready. We're still going to go back through here and we're just going to kind of like stripe through here. like we've taken our black and then we dipped our tinfoil directly into it and makes these shapes, but uh, it's not happening. Anyways, okay, whatever this next step is, we need some of our cute types. they're on the painting it gives it kind of this hazy sort of feel 
And because this is a man walking in the rain, you know, at first when I saw the dots, I was like, that totally messes with the clarity and beauty of a gorgeous image. But then once we put in the man walking in the rain with his umbrella, it makes so much more sense. And it's like, this completes the painting. <music> So here's the final result. And if you peep my little hidden signature in there. Now, it's not nearly as good as the original here, but what I've learned when I am replicating things, you have to understand that no matter how hard you try, you're never gonna make it look exactly like the original or even super duper close to the original because there's different brush strokes, different pan amounts per brush, and on and on and on. There's so many different variations that it's like impossible to get it to look close. So for me, this was learning paint techniques. In my opinion, the whole tin foil on the top at the beginning was a waste because we went over it with all the tree stuff anyway, and then I probably could have done the bottom part a little bit cooler, but that's okay. I kind of went through and tried to fix it and make it work in my own style as I could, and you know what? I'm not super, I'm not super disappointed. Like, I'm pretty happy, and yeah, it's pretty good. Jay Lee has a lot of different paintings and techniques on their YouTube channel. Like I said, I always recommend watching them first because you are going to have to really rush through a lot before you get layers drying. But really, I wouldn't try to exactly replicate, bleh, replicate one of their paintings only because it's really hard to keep up with them. But use the techniques. It is good practice and it really will help you go a long way and improve. So... Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today as we tried painting one of Jaylee's paintings, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.